Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2016 Spawn on Me uh, fundraiser for um, the National Abortion Funds Network. So we are going to be um, streaming games. Um, there's a whole bunch of different sites that we're going to be on. We're going to be on uh, spawnon.me. Um, we're going to be on Wicked Good ISO. Um, and all these links can be found at spawnon.me. If you go there, all the links um, for the other people that are streaming, for the videos, um, basically for everything we're all going to have at that one coordinated place. So make sure to check out spawnon.me um, and you'll be able to get all of the info there. And people are going to be streaming all kinds of games. Um, so don't worry if you don't see your favorite on my stream. There's definitely uh, someone that I'm sure um has that up um but my stream i'm going to be playing uh primarily on the wii u um and the reason i'm doing that is number one because the wii u is awesome um and number two because i have access to um sort of the entire history um of gaming uh from the nes to the super nintendo to the n64 there's even some gamecube stuff and some wii stuff um so so we're basically going to be hitting up the uh, different eras um, of gaming, um, and it should be fun. Um, so uh, for the first uh, four hours, we're going to be doing like Nintendo games. Uh, that's the original NES 8-bit games. Um, and I'm going, to do, I'm going to do different games from last year. The games we have linked um, is Super Mario 1, 2, or 3, um, as well as the original Mario Brothers uh gradius or life force so we got some shooters um adventures of lolo which is a great puzzle game excite bike mega man 2 which is one of my all-time favorites uh dig dug and duck hunt duck hunt might be a little weird because i don't think i have the space to really play it with the with the with the remote with the uh Wiimote, but i put it in there because you know if, if like there's enough people on the chat um that i want it um i will definitely try my best to make it happen um, so, um, thank you, uh, Tanya, for joining the stream. Um, so we are going to get started. So, so, um, and actually, before I pick a game, um, I'll say that on the bottom scroll, you're going to see, um, different facts that have to do with the movement for, uh, for a reproductive justice and for abortion access. Um, there's going to be different statistics, um, about the, uh, the reproductive justice m m movement and uh, every hour I'm going to try to read a uh, personal story from the uh, one in three campaign um, where uh, where uh, women share their uh, my journeys in their uh, personal um, um, involvement with uh, reproductive justice and abortion access so there are some women that have gotten abortions there are some who 
are just like familiar with the with the uh, legality and with the history um so um y you know i'm gonna go t to the experts um to be able to uh get that information on a uh on an hourly basis um and uh also i wanted to give a big shout out to the uh national abortion funds network um which is who we are supporting here all of the funds um are going to go to uh support them um in their fight for uh, for reproductive rights so if you donate um if you go to spawnon.me like the donation link will be right there um and you should be able to click on it or if you go to tinyurl.com slash s4g 2016 which is also in my twitch profile and at spawnon.me so check that out y'all i hope i gave out all the um you know big blab of information um please let me know if my sound is a little weird um i s spent some time in the early early hours of the morning trying to make sure that the game audio was not too loud um and i know that i have this big bright light kind of behind me but um i closed the blinds and you know that's the that's the best it can get but I, I feel like I'm still good with seeing like, like myself and the question block and all that stuff in the background. So um, I think we're good. But if that's a bit of an annoyance, um, definitely let me know um, and I will see what I can do. Um, but aside from that, um, I think we are good. Um, so I will be tweeting. I'll be Facebook sharing and all that stuff. Um, so uh, we are going to start. Oh, I, I got to pick a game. This is this is this is exciting. Actually, it's like kind of weird because I don't know how to start this off. But why don't we start off with my favorite game of all time, uh, which is Super Mario Brothers three. Um, and this came out uh, in 1990 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, one of the later games, but definitely, um, you know, it used the Nintendo hardware to the limit. Uh, if you were old enough to be alive uh, at that time, uh, you definitely like remember the movie The Wiz, um, w which uh, was the movie where um, we uh, first saw the um, you know this uh, game actually being played for the first time. I mean, the whole the whole movie was basically a big Nintendo commercial, but we loved every minute of it because you know it was it was the eighties and, and the early 90s and as long as as long as there were video games involved whether it was nintendo cereal <laughs> or trading cards or bubble gum or movies we were all about it so you know so um and also it kind of plays in with the shirt that i have here uh, which is kind of hard to see let me stand up for a little bit oh that way okay so that is the uh, Thank You, Mario, But Your Princess is in Another Castle, um, you know, from Super Mario Brothers 1. Um, so, with all that said, let's start gaming. Man, and you know, it's still amazing to remember that this was the first game with an overworld map. Like, well, well the first Mario game. Previously, like, overall maps were, like, you know, only for RPGs and adventure games, you know. So, like, when I saw this, I was like, are they trying to do some kind of Legend of Zelda kind of thing? So, I always thought that it was very interesting that they decided to, um, to uh, put this here. Um, Alright, so let me just make sure everything is good on my stream. I should not be hosting wicked good anymore so all right i think we're good and what up stubby stan say what that word all right and you you will understand why i did that when you listen to the latest spawn on me podcast which is also at spawn on dot me so let's start out with one one um which is you know, I thought it was a good choice for them to do kind of a slight version of 1-1 one, one from, uh, you, you know, from the original game because, like, you, 
start off with the same kind of Goomba that teaches you how to jump and I get stuff so so it's actually pretty good and you go and you, and you get your flower and you're all good and you're like this is great and then at this part like you see those little coins and you're basically like yo I can fly up there son you know what I'm saying um yeah so oh no yeah so at this point like these levels are almost like clockwork to me because I've played them so much but I still kind of get that same sense of kind of wonder like the first time you fly as Mario it just feels like so crazy because you know like they really it's just not something that they even hinted that you'd ever be able to do in the previous game so oh see those skills Oh, that was not skills, but I, st I still got the P bar. Oh, oh see, see, like I can't fly up to the top and get the coins, but it's all good. It is all good. I, I, I still went and got my my uh, my uh, star. <laughs> butt slide you always got to do the butt slide they give you a chance to do the butt slide if you don't do it you are a sucker and this is my favorite spot to just get non-stop one-ups um, because it, because these guys just keep respawning and you know you just can keep keep jumping off them and the uh, the uh, Nintendo does a good job of keeping uh, the memory in there so that you don't lose track of well not unlimited one ups because I actually didn't start this too well oh wow I didn't think I get that okay so I I got a few um, but you know I still got some oh I actually need to save those coins I need to hit a P block here Whoop. and then you jump in there And then, you know, you just get some coins. Like, j just the sound of coins. All right, now I'm going to try to get these one-ups. Because, yeah, I, I forgot. I, I, I had to let a little more Goombas kind of be on the screen first. So let me actually wait for... There we go. Oh, look at the slowdown. Yeah, so, like, one thing I really appreciate about these emulated games is that you know they're really emulated w w which means that they run at the speed of the original Nintendo so even though you know like you're playing this on a Wii U hardware you still get like the like the slowdown if there's too many people on the screen um, but it's kind of good because like I don't want to play a Mario game at like so I messed it up you know at a super high graphics right because then like it just won't feel right. Like, you gotta have that little bit of slowdown as you're playing. Alright, so, you know, I, I got 15 lives. That's not that's not terrible, but I used to be able to roll with that with, like, mad lives, you know, but, yeah. but I'm old now. Right, let's get this star. And when I first got this star, I was so happy because I saw Mario do, do like, this uh, flip. And I was like, yo, like Mario flipping, son. He flipping. So, yeah, we're, we are good. And also, shout out to everybody that donated. We are at 16% of our goal at $810 um, of our goal of 5000 So, so far, so good, y'all. Um, thank you for helping out reproductive justice and abortion access. Alright, let's go through this here. So, right, always. Yes, I did remember that secret. Always get the red block. Alright, give me them coins. And jump on the red block. Get some extra coins. Yeah, like even like going up to different parts of the level, like. One of the reasons this game is my favorite is because they just did so many different things that 2, that Mario 1, or even 2 didn't do. Even though 2 was sort of a drastic um, 
reimagining of one and it did do a lot of things.